off we go. We're going to the Taco Shack in Albright after we get some gas. We're going to go see if they're open and try them for the first time. Put the gas in. We found that it gets really, really good gas mileage. It hardly took anything. So what's our gas mileage? 22.9 miles a gallon. Wow. We're off again. Kingwood's one of three stoplights in town. On the left is the New China Restaurant. On Route 26, we have the Dairy Queen. Behind the Dairy Queen is Miller Road. Dairy Queen's been here for a very long time. There are some pretty mountains. Kurtz Inc. Plumbing and Heating. In the white building, you have Friends of Cheat and Wick. Then there's the farm, Foggy Mountain. You can see the mountains as we're heading to Albright. The field to the right used to be part of the Welch farm. Caught a glimpse of some horses on the hill. I believe part of this road they called Station Hill. Is that because of the power station? Coming up on the right will be the closed Albright Power Station. This used to be the road that they would go into the power station, one of the roads. Coming up to the Albright Bridge on the right. The town, I think, used to be unincorporated, but it looks like it's incorporated now. The water in Cheat River looks really low. It's really dry. There's the other side. Here's the taco shack. Taco shack parking right here. But look, it's closed. This is where the taco shack is. We'll go past it, but the big sign said closed. Across the street from the taco shack is the taco shack parking. Sign says, sorry, we're closed. Please come back again. It was a no-go today for Taco Shack. Facebook says they're going to be closed Saturday and Sunday and open Monday through Friday from 11 to 7. An updated menu. We'll need to go back and check it out. Heard a lot of good things about the Taco Shack. Everybody's ranting and raving about how good it is. We've added a roof to protect you from the sun and rain. Here's another drive-by glimpse of the Albright Power Station. along the river, State Road on the left where there's stockpiles of stone, and this is the State Road located in Albright, West Virginia. Cheat River on the right side of the road. This road goes under the bridge to Camp Dawson. Left you go to Terrata. Go right you go to Kingwood. We're going to Kingwood. Glimpse of Cheat River. Recently closed Allegheny Wood Products. One mile to Kingwood. Eagles to the right, hillside to the left and right. It frames next door. Fireworks to the left at the old sail 
lunch is over. We're on a mission to go find some plant hangers for our flowers. We have a garden. We'll show you that in just a little bit. luck in the Dollar Tree. Onward we go. So we're heading out of the Walmart Plaza. Next stop we're going to try the Dollar General in Kingwood. To the right is the Appalachian Hotel. On the back side of the Appalachian Hotel is a really good steakhouse restaurant a glimpse of the new dentist office. Three socks laundry mat. One of two new laundry mats coming to our area. They're making progress. This is Scott Ford. They're located between Walmart and Kingwood. Sunset Memorial Gardens located on Route 7 just outside of Kingwood. It also has mausoleum and a pet cemetery and they're making hay. This is Kingwood Christian Fellowship. One of the Kingwood signs, a church fit for you, a place to work out, pro PT, Preston Memorial Home Care, Preston Urgent Care. Welcome to Kingwood, home of Preston County Buckwheat Festival. And you should go 25 mile per hour now. Browns Park, and they're playing basketball. I didn't know there was a basketball court behind there. On the left is the newly opened Pizzazz Pizza Place. It's 89 degrees, by the way. Pretty toasty. Back into town again. The library. It's Circle K where we got gas earlier. It's where they're putting them to do business. They're working on it. Still working. Courthouse, jailhouse. Part of Child's Feed and what used to be the former Browning Funeral Home. Drive Dollar General across from the old Browning Funeral Home. Check on brackets. We found brackets, three dollars a piece. Dollar General. Here is our raised garden, close where the raccoon lives. Yellow zucchinis. Here's one of the green zucchinis. Paul loves gardening. And I help him. And I love eating zucchinis. So my request was a lot of zucchini plants. He's putting the brackets up. Some other plants started. Wire. That plants are going to grow up on. 
We have plants at the house and raised gardens that he also has trellises for the plants to grow and different plants at the house. Now he has a lot, didn't know where to put them, so I suggested we cut off some barrels that we had. So he made more planters, come out the flowers. Courtney, our daughter-in-law, suggested to add flowers so the bees would come in and pollinate everything. And yes, that is a wrecked dump trailer as the back wall for the raised garden. Behind it, you see a lot of Japanese knotweed that has just taken over everywhere. And here's a little dune buggy parked among the coal pile. Flowers for that area are now complete. Now to make a couple more brackets to put on the fence. Hot as it is, hydrate and use sunscreen. Recycling a little mini jug. Garden is fenced in so it stays safe. A week and a half later, this is the update on the garden. The tomato plants have grown, the zucchinis, there are many more of them. Plants are bigger. green zucchinis and this is the one zucchini that we saw earlier I'm going to pick it tonight it's ready to eat the plants that are growing up on the trellis they're finding their way here are the plants in the middle the other ones that are climbing pepper plant egg plants in the barrels hot peppers these are jalapenos tomato plants the other plants are growing big. The tub of plants. Zucchinis. They're hiding underneath the leaves, doing well. More zucchini and more tomato plants. It grew a lot in just one day. Raccoon's gonna come out and eat. I've put a hot dog down for it. There's the hot dog. There's the raccoon's water. Thinking about it. Come on. Come get the hot dog. Come on, baby. You can do it. Ollie, Ollie, I'm free. Come on, you smell the hot dog? We're gonna have a snack, too. Not a hot dog, though. Thinking about it. Going to come out. It's hot out. But you can eat your hot dog and get back to wherever you go. Cat's gonna get your hot dog first. You better hurry. Making progress. Going to come get the hot dog. In the sunshine, the heat of the day. Nope, cat food. I'd rather eat the cat's food. The temperature so far today has hit 90. That will probably be the high, but not sure. Part of us watching. It's gonna take the food, and turn around, eating in a hurry. Probably hot in the sun. Probably wants to go back. At 90 degrees, it better hurry. It's like a little bear. Not sure if it figured out the hot dogs over there or not. This car always catches my attention. It reminds me of the little car that the kids had growing up. Back in April, I saw it on Marketplace for sale. We've decided to go to Utters for some ice cream. We're passing Walmart now. Utter's Creamery is located on Dogtown Road. It's about 13 minutes from where I am, and it's about 8 miles. Utter's is located on a country road, not close to any other business. They sell soft serve ice cream, specialty sundaes, and simple sundaes, and more. They have a different flavor of the week each week, and on some days they come up with some really cool creation combinations. turn right. It's a little trailer. It reminds you of one of the trailers at a carnival or a fair. It's pretty cool. And it only took us 13 minutes. They say people will come from all over, Fairmont, all kind of different areas, to come to this unique place. There's three different parking places that you can park. Oh, wow. And they have a place where you can feed the chickens and turkeys. This 
this parking lot is an extra parking lot. They have chickens in a pen and they have a photo opportunity right here for children. They can get their picture taken. Do not make the chickens angry. Here where you can put a coin in, get some chicken food and feed the chickens. Look at them. They're all running, they want to eat. There's big ones and little ones, all different colors. They have a little run, I'm sure, to their little houses. There's a little pathway from the parking lot that you can get down to the ice cream place. And here's the famous Adder Cow on the side of the trailer. It's where you order, and there are a lot of choices, a lot. Favor of the week is salted caramel. Double, double salted caramel. We're inside making the, the split, the, the ice cream. Number is number 30. So we'll wait for number 30. No, my the puppy likes Paul. Flavor of the week is salted caramel. So we got two small cones with caramel, the salted caramel ice cream. So this is where Adder's is located. As I said, in the middle of nowhere. But everybody finds it. And the hours are Monday through Friday, 3 to 9, and Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 9. <laughs> the little doggy gets a pup cup. Still have crowds waiting. Getting closer. They call numbers for number 30. Here's my salted caramel sugar cone. There's a big turkey in there. You can hear it gobble. Pretty cool. It's gotten so crowded, the extended parking has filled up. Maybe the turkey is gobbling, asking for food, because people came. Found a deer crossing the road at others staring at us. The path is in the sky where the airplanes have crossed. Leaving others. Very satisfied and full. Pretty good. The walkway. The other parking. And the crowds have decreased. It's 10 till 9 and they close at 9. Headed back into town, Kingwood. Street lights are on, headlights are on, starting to get dark. Tonight was the second night for the big strawberry moon. Looking for it. God bless America. Going to the other end of town before we go home, and I thought maybe we'd get to see the big strawberry moon, but I think I was way too early yet. We got to see some fireworks on Main Street. It was just starting to get dark and we were on our way home. And there's one of the firework tents. 